rejoice at the child in a manger, the greatest gift we receive this Christmas season. And yes, it is far more valuable than the vaccines that begin to be distributed, because this is the light that enlightens the whole human race, the light that enlightens every heart, revealing to us you know, what we were made for and in out enabling us to begin to see again what is true glory. And so uh, that this Christmas, let God speak to your heart as we ask, you know, why come as a child? You know, God could have came in any manner. He could have been fully grown. He could have been in a palace. Why come as a child? And to ask the question, why did he come at all? You know, I hope that you have a nativity scene in your home so that you can adore this special child who is God made man throughout the Christmas season. You know, God came as a child for many reasons, but one reason is so that we would not be afraid to draw near to him. When Jesus was born as an infant, he was vulnerable, in need of Mary and Joseph to, to, to love him, to be attentive to his needs. The, 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 the child in the manger, Jesus born as an infant, God cannot strike at us. And so there's no reason for us to draw back, but rather to come to him and to not be afraid. He came to save, to he came to redeem. Salvation, light, glory, that is the gift offered to us. And why, why, why speak of fear? You know, but there are people who are afraid to draw close. There are people who feel unworthy or afraid to come into a church they, 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 for, that they, they won't draw near. And how are we to understand that? You know, part of it is because God is holy. The child is holy. And oftentimes our actions are not completely holy. Though a child, he remains the all holy God. And so if we are proud, if we are proud, his holiness will startle us. It'll intimidate us. It'll cause us to draw back. But if we are humble, as he is humble, we will adore him and receive him and even share and allow him to share with us his holiness. Yes, rejoice in the Christ child, because this child changes everything, and there's no reason, no need to be afraid. We also ask, why did he come? Why was he born in a cave on a cold winter's night? You know, that's not a vacation. He came, he came to us because we couldn't come to him. He came to reconcile us to God. You know, Adam and Eve sinned against God, and as children of Adam and Eve, you know, we'd lost our way. God created us to share our burdens and to share our joys with one another. And yet, we would sometimes hurt one another through our words or through our actions. God created us for friendship. We would sometimes see the other person as a threat to our safety or an imposition on our comfort or, or a, a, a distraction calling us from a, what we really want to be doing. We lost our way. You know, God created us to know him, to love him, to feel at home with him. And yet we too easily lose sight of him. And in oftentimes, when we lose, if we begin to lose sight of God, we can't even imagine what true glory is. You know, the glory that John spoke of, the glory of the only begotten Son. Jesus came, Jesus was born as one of us to remind us who we are created to be. And that will be our joy. When we recognize that we are loved by the incarnate God, we're becoming who we were created to be. When we strive and grow toward holiness, we're becoming who we're created to be. When we reach out to our neighbor with love, foster peace and incur offer encouragement to our friends, to our family, to those around us, we're becoming who we were meant to be. 
and when we desire heaven. Because this child, in this child, heaven came down to us. We remember what we were created for. And when with those, we know the joy of living what we were made for. And Jesus came to reconcile us to God. On our part, do we seek to be reconciled with him? You know, he's given us two, uh, two particular gifts in Holy Communion and Confession where we approach this gift of reconciliation. He came to us. Do we come to him? It's a joy to be with you today to adore the child in the manger. Peaceful, his heart, his soul open to us. God came to us. Will we remain far from him? God came as a child, so we wouldn't be afraid to draw near to him. And yet, will we let fear still keep us away? As we adore the Christ child and allow his light to shine in our hearts and on our homes, I wish you a very merry and blessed Christmas.